You may have seen my recent Valkyrie camera video where I showed you some great spots on Oregon, Cafe, Chalet and Coastline. I told you that I had some more spots to show. So today I'll show you great Valkyrie cameras for Villa, Border, Clubhouse and Consulate. We'll start off with Villa. For the trophy statuary site, you can hide one camera in the light on this bedroom table. The lamp cover will make the cam barely visible. An alternative to this one is to put the cam in the top corner here above the bedroom window. It's quite difficult to spot out this cam as an attacker. These two can be used to give info for C4s from downstairs. I usually put the second cam in bathroom. In this corner here, on the top, you'll get a great view of bathroom. But it's not that easy to spot for attackers. Because as soon as they get past this point, there will be too much pressure of someone peeking them from Astro's side for them to just look behind them to see if they can find a camera. The third cam could be placed around red stairs or landing. There's two options for this cam. You can either put it in the chandelier above the red stairs where it blends in well with the golden color of the chandelier, or you can put it underneath the bench on landing, at the top of the red stairs. This one feels like it's more common in my own games. If you defend games in Aviator, you can put one cam in the bookshelves at the top of main stairs. I usually even place my bulletproof camera here, but you can do this to you with a Valkyrie camera. You will see all the way into 90 hallway and you can give sound cues of players coming main stairs and books. There's a few cams you can place downstairs as well. You can place one in this light at the red hallway right in front of the memo door. It blends in well with this little circle here. You can see all the way through the red hallway. Or just like on the top of red stairs, you can put the cam in the chandelier outside of the piano door. You can see from the piano door into the red hallway. For a kitchen defense, you can put one cam in the little blue cabinets next to the laundry doorway. You'll be able to call if any attacker goes into laundry, which is usually a heavily contested part of the map when attackers take kitchen. And this Valkyrie cam was shown in a recent EUL game, where they put the camera in this little table at the main lobby. If you're playing upstairs, attackers will likely try to take main lobby stairs control. With this cam, you can see them coming up, or you will know if anyone is planning to throw some nades from underneath. For a second map border, there's a neat trick you can do in quite some areas of this map. For example, in Armory. Have you seen these little light bulbs all across the map? You can hide a camera in these very well. There is a similar light in Workshop down below, which you can do the same thing with. And this is a cam that you may have seen someone else throw before, though I doubt you've seen it from the CCTV site because it's really hard to spot. If you go downstairs into jail or detention, you can open up a part of the ceiling to throw a camera through it. It will land on the wall behind the big screens in CCTV. You can spot any attacker walking into CCTV, but the camera will likely stay up until a very late part of the round since you can barely spot it as an attacker. If you want to get more of a view of the office hallway or e-stairs, and mezzanine, you can put a cam right above this AC unit here. It gives you a quite broad view of this hallway and also if any players are downstairs in waiting room. And this is also a really good spot for your drone. And in my video with tricks from the Berlin Major, I explained to you how you can get there with your drone. If an attacker has spotted this cam and you want to get similar information next round, or if you just want an alternative to the previous camera, you can also throw it under the benches in waiting room. It won't really give you any information on the office hallway, but you can see into waiting room, the passport door, and a part of lobby. Also, have you seen this cam before in lobby? Now you have. It's a quite common one, but it gives you a good view of everything in lobby, a part of waiting room, and the teller's hallway. There's also a few really good cams for clubhouse. And no matter what side you defend, you can always throw a camera in the fridge in lounge. The camera will barely stand out due to the light that's coming from this fridge. There are a few cams you can use to defend downstairs. I like to put this one on this part of the main stairs. It makes the cam really difficult to find for any attacker that's going down the main stairs, but you can give crucial information on this one if the main stairs camera has already been taken out. You can put one cam in the kitchen cabinets to get good information on any attacker that tries to open up the kitchen hatch or wants to get verticals around kitchen. You can then combine this information with a C4 to get a kill on maybe an attacker like a thermite before you can open up the hatch and that could be round winning. If you want to play with C4s around the main hallway,
way, you can put a camera behind this exit sign at the top of the kitchen hallway door. You can see all the way into the kitchen door and the main hallway, where you can pick up a freebie on an attacker by using your C4. And there is a similar exit sign at the top of the garage door. You can put a camera behind this one to watch the garage and rafters. It's very likely the enemies will walk through garage and keep walking up the stairs. There's no way they're gonna look back at the garage door to see if there's maybe a camera there. Remember those lights we talked about in Border? Yep. There's one of those as well in construction. You can also hide your camera in here for information if any attacker tries to move through construction. You can use this camera for both the upstairs objectives or for bar if you know attackers will try to get vertical control. And the final map I have some camps for is Consulate. If you are defending top floor, it's very common for attackers to jump into CEO and go for a plant behind the CEO desk. You can hide a camera in the cabinets to get information on when attackers are doing so. Another very common spot would be to put the chem in a drink tray of a soda machine, like this one next to the long desk. They can be easier to spot, but if you ever walk around this area and you get spotted, make sure to check the soda machine if there isn't any camera on there. And this couch in lobby can work for a really good hiding spot for your camera. You can then view all the way into lobby, antechamber, and piano. This works especially well if you're defending downstairs, so you can call if anyone is above the site. And now this final cam may sound a bit weird, but you can hide it in these tires at garage. You can then watch the main breach, the default pen spot, and the white fan. The cam will be quite difficult to spot out, plus it's a very risky area for attackers to be in once they went past the garage breach. And these were all my 23 Valkyrie cameras I have for you today. If you have any other good Valkyrie cameras that I haven't mentioned yet in this video or the previous one, please put them in the comments down below. That way we can help each other out. And if you like this type of content, I would highly appreciate a sub on my YouTube channel. We are on the way to 15,000 YouTube subs and all your support is very welcome. Maybe you like this Goyo guide or these 10 siege tips to elevate your gameplay. Thank you so much for watching, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.